for this shit. Murder music. I the... Hi, right, it's Matt. Welcome back to the shop. So today we're talking about the causes of pre-ignition. So I've done the HCCI video and we're going to start doing diesels and stuff eventually and all the rest of it. But a lot of people ask me what are the causes of pre-ignition. Uh, loose carbon, that's a good one, or carbon buildup uh, can actually heat soak um, and make hot spots. Uh, another thing to do is if you've got too hot of a plug, you've got the wrong plug in there, um, it's getting too hot and that's all to do with the actual ceramic section of the spark plug, how much how much that sticks in and out of the plug basically and how much of an electrode stick out you have. Uh, sharp edges, so you know your pistons, corner of your pistons, piston rings themselves, they can actually, you know, this can be a localised hot spot. Um, running too lean of a mixture, if you run too lean of a mixture it doesn't cool. I've done two videos now on lean running, there will be more because people are getting a bit confused and still don't understand, so I'll dumb it down even further, we can sort that out and then we'll go even more complicated after that. Um, the other thing you can do as well is poor cooling. If your coolant system is knackered, you've got a big fucking, you know, some a crisp packet in front of your radiator, or maybe your water pump's literally just not stirring things around, or you've got a shitty, dodgy thermostat, something like that. Um, burning oil is one of the problems. If you've got too much oil in your engine, be it two stroke or four stroke, oil is very good at actually retaining heat, um, and because it doesn't evaporate in the same way that petrol does. Um, oil itself can actually, it's called oil dripping, um, where you can have basically droplets of oil that in the centre of them are bloody fucking stupidly hot, where the outside is a bit cooler, and then all of a sudden it will pop, and that can actually cause um, a, a pre-ignition event all on its own. Um, too much advance, you know, if you advance your ignition too much, you can have um, pre-ignition in that way, because... There's a lot more time for pre-ignition to happen if you advance your ignition too much. Um, there was a thing back in the day with especially carbureted, uh, you know, carbureted car engines where you used to have auto run or run on, where you used to cut your engine off and the engine would just go da 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 da. -da. It's to keep on running and basically that's a good indication that you have detonation and pre-ignition because your engine's cut out and uh, it just keeps on running on its own. You know that used to happen quite a bit in the day. Um, but nowadays with fuel injection and all the rest of it, as soon as you cut the, uh, as soon as you cut the power to the car or the bike, it doesn't happen anymore because, um, well, the injectors aren't firing or anything like that. So that's a, an injection thing that's pretty much completely gone. Unless you're talking about diesel in which is burning oil, and I'll do a video about you know there's going to be a big series on diesels and all the rest of it, um, but there's stuff like diesel runaway and stuff like that which is quite cool. Um, hope that makes sense and I will see you in a bit.